Good day to everyone. I'm Matt Wantamat and welcome to another video here at Pagodos Channel. For today's video, we are going to update you on a six-month-old rooftop system somewhere here in Pateros. So again, this is a rooftop system. That look at, let's look at a view at the fourth floor of this system. And this system is protected by a net shelter, a rain shelter with net sidings and some uh, some shade netting because this is in the rooftop so it's a little bit hot here so follow me and let's go to the inside of the system so for today's video we are going to catch some of the tilapia so this is a six month old system so we already siphoned off the water half of the water in the fish tank uh, we used a hose and then we filled up This one and then we siphoned off half of the water to this drum so by siphoning half of the water in the drum uh, it's easier to catch the tilapia we also use the net cover here so the net cover here serves as a dual purpose so it covers the tilapia it prevent, prevents them from jumping and it also helps us in or aids us in catching the tilapia so these are all uh, six part old uh, tilapia. So let me raise the net. So as you can see, you can zoom in on the tilapia. So there are already approximately 300 to uh, 250 to 300 grams. Okay, so let's catch some. Let's see if I can catch you. cooler with ice let's place some of our tilapia here okay so we add so we'll add more ice later okay uh, we'll try to catch some of the stragglers left there okay? because we're gonna introduce some fingerlings later okay so again we remove the net 
Then we place it down. So by placing down the net, we bring it to one area. Okay? So it's easier to catch them. Let's turn them to the one edge, to the corner of the tank. Let's use the other part. Now, because you heard that you place them on one side, it's easier to catch one, okay? So, a lot of viewers were asking, how do we get the sex of the tilapia? So, we get a sample tilapia here. You have to be very careful because they're very slippery. You use your net. And they have spikes, no? So be careful of those spikes. They are very sharp. And then these are the sex organs. We get a uh, food dye or food coloring. And we try to color, put add, add color to it. Okay. So by adding color, you will see it's easier to see if there are two holes of the, if there are only one hole. So, this has one and another hole there, and it's a round shape. So, because it's round and you have two holes, this is a female, okay? So, let's, so let's try to look for a male, no? Let's see if uh, there's a male here. this uh, sex organ and then you add food color so this is one hole so that's one hole and no hole here and it's pointy so when the, the end is pointy it's not curved like a U it's a V this is a male okay so we add it here in our uh, cooler and we try to catch a ball
it's a male or a female. Again, we have to be careful of the spikes. Those are very sharp spikes, see? Razor sharp. So if you if you get pricked by that, it's very painful. Uh, let's see. Get a food dye. So again, this is a uh, one, and another hole there, and it's a U shape. So this is a female, okay? So that's the hole, and then hole number two, and then U shape. So this is a female, okay? If you want to bring tilapia, you can keep the female and keep one male. So you can uh, have a ratio of one to five or even one to uh, ten. No? But, but uh, because this is not a breeding tank, this is a grow out tank, we catch all the males and the females all together. No? So, and then we just uh, buy finger links and introduce them here as a new batch. Okay? So when they were beginners, they only stop this with 100 tilapia. Now that they are uh, intermediate level, they know how to take care of the tilapia, we can now stop this with 150. So the max capacity of this tank is 200 tilapia. You can overstop the tilapia a little bit because uh, the tilapia can uh, live in uh, subpar or This is a male. So again, why is this a male? You get a pointy end and you get one hole, okay? So one hole and a pointy end, that's a male. harder to catch
fish tank is uh, full of water. Again, don't waste the water uh, because you can siphon the water into a drum like this one. Or you can uh, remove the bell siphon, just like that one. You remove the bell siphon from the gravel bed, so all the water will just uh, uh, fill the gravel and leave, uh, leave the fish tank. So when you're finished harvesting your fish, you can uh, add your bell, your bell uh, the, the bell siphon, and the water will go back to your surface. So again, you don't like to, you don't like to waste water no? because the water has a uh, So we have fingerlings over here. Let's go here. Uh, let's get the fingerlings over here. So they don't breed. Uh, they don't breed their own fish, no? So we have uh, fingerlings here inside oxygenated bottom bags. So this is 75 uh, pieces. Uh, right, we have them. We'll add them here to acclimatize, but we won't open it yet because they're still large, uh, large uh, fingerlings left. So let's get some, the other. Uh, fingerling here. Okay, so this is another 75 uh, pieces. So we just let them acclimatize for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, uh, we will remove the bag. Uh, and then we'll add 50% of the water from the fish tank. And then uh, release the fingerling slowly inside the tank. No? So we, we won't do this, uh, we won't do it now, we'll just uh, let them acclimatize for 10 minutes, okay? So now let's go to our plants over there. No? So here is the gravel bed, uh, they seeded some romaine lettuce over here. So these are romaine lettuce, again they, they start with some tomatoes. Uh, they will uh, thin the tomato and transplant some in the soil and uh, some in the... Uh, other systems, okay? So here we have two gravel beds. This is the bell siphon. We removed it so that the water will, uh, most of the water will go here and drain from the fish tank. And then they, all, they also started some seedlings here, romaine seedlings. And they have uh, ready to harvest uh, lettuce here, so this is due in another week. So again, they have a shade netting. So the shade netting uh, prevents the lettuce from uh, wilting, no? Because we are in a rooftop system, the temperature here is very uh, hot, no? So by adding a 30% shade, uh, the lettuce are not stressed. So here uh, is the six uh, floating rafts, and then we have a pump over there, so that's the pump, and then the pump delivers the water back to the fish tank over there, okay? So let's recap. So to recap, again we drained the water from the fish tank and then we harvested most of the tilapia or almost all and then we will try to catch the stragglers 
over there. And then we acclimatize the fingerlings, the next batch of 150 uh, fingerlings. Uh, so we'll wait for 10 minutes and then we'll release it there. No? So we siphoned off the water as not to waste the nutrients. We, si we siphoned off to a drum and to the sump uh, to catch the tilapia easier because the water level is uh, lower. Okay, And then uh, we added our tilapia here. So these are our tilapia, the catch of the day. So that's a lot of tilapia, okay? So we have some more left there, no? So we taught you how to select the sex of the tilapia. And some are small, uh, and most of them are 250 to 300 grams. Okay, so that's in six months, no? So in six months, uh, we were able to grow uh, nice, big, healthy tilapia, no? All because of the aquaponic system. Again, the tilapia grows faster or they grow bigger because the water is always uh, clean from nitrates no? and ammonia. Uh, the ammonia will be absorbed by the, uh, will be eaten by the bacteria and the bacteria will convert the ammonia into nitrates. And then the nitrates will be absorbed by the plants. No? So by having a denitrifier or some, someone, uh, something to clean the nitrates from your system, your fish will always have clean water or good quality water. And if you have good quality water, you get bigger fish. So to answer a question uh, from the previous comments below uh, in the other videos, uh, one question there is how long do we grow the tilapia? So again, we can grow the tilapia for four to five months. And in six months, uh, you can grow them to, as uh, in three to four months, you can grow them at 200, grams to 250 grams and in six months you can grow them to uh, 300 to 350 grams so some are some are 300 some are 350 some are 200 uh, to to be able to grow that you have to have a uh, good good feeds and you have to follow the uh, right amount of feeds to feed their tilapia and you have to have high quality or good quality water for them to be able to uh, grow faster. So if you have uh, more questions uh, that you like us to answer, don't forget to comment down below and then we also have a Facebook page. If you're interested in our equipment, our aquaponics equipment, uh, you can contact us through our Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel. So again, thank you for watching.